How to make a resume, 10 sections to include on a resume. Hello, welcome back to my channel, Writing Practices. The perfect job opening can pop up when you least expect it, so it's important to have an up-to-date professional resume ready at a moment's notice. Writing Practices will show you how to make a resume that will present your best self to potential employers. First of all, what is a resume? A resume is a job application document that describes the breadth of your professional experience. Resume writing is just one part of a job search, and in most cases, your actual physical resume matters less than your job interview, personal referrals, and experience in the field. Still, you want to strive to write the best resume possible. How to make a resume. 10 sections to include on a resume. The perfect resume is one that includes the exact information requested by hiring managers in a job posting. While job seekers may tweak a resume to the specifications of a particular job recruiter, they should start with a base resume template that includes the following items. The order of these items will vary based on the type of resume you are writing. For instance, functional resumes lead with skills sections, while chronological resumes start off with your job history. And here is the 10 sections. One, contact information. Provide your name, phone number, and email address at the top of your resume. Two, education. In the education section, list your undergraduate school, major, GPA, and degree earned, plus any graduate schools and degrees earned. If you earned academic honors, include those as well. Only include high school coursework, if you are very young, and just starting in the professional world. 3. Relevant work experience. If you have professional experience or teaching experience that qualifies you for a specific job, share that in the work experience section of your resume. Lay out your relevant jobs in reverse chronological order, starting with the most recent job at the top of the page. For each entry, include the company name, job title, years of employment, and a brief job description that summarizes the nature of your work. If you're a recent graduate with minimal work experience, include relevant internships. 4. Volunteer Work some job seekers include volunteer experience at the bottom of their professional summary or in a separate section for volunteer work. Include the name of the volunteer organization, the length of time you volunteered with them, and the nature of your volunteer work. 5. Works published. If you have published work in your field, include that in your resume. This section is particularly relevant if you are submitting a CV or curriculum vitae, or the type of resume used in academia. 6. Personal honors and certifications. If you have received professional honors in your career, list those in this section. You may also use this section to list certifications and professional affiliations that may not have fit in your work history section. 7. Professional references. Provide two to three personal references who can attest to your work as an employee or colleague. 8. Hard skills. In the hard skills section of your resume, include specific relevant skills that relate to the job description, such as software abilities, technical skills, or leadership certifications. 9. Soft skills. 
In this section, list interpersonal skills, such as curiosity and enthusiasm. While soft skills are rarely the determining factor for a new hire, the applicant tracking systems or ATS used by many hiring managers sometimes scan for terms like enthusiastic and team-oriented. Including such terminology in an ATS resume might help you stand out in the first round of resume review. 10. Summary Statement, Optional. Some job applicants begin their resume with a stated objective for their employment. Others eschew the use of resume objectives and instead include such statements in a cover letter. So, that's how you write a formal resume in general. I hope this video helpful for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you.